Hello guys! Today in this video, I will show you how to create a demo for the recruitment form for the candidates by using Quiz and SurveyMaster, which is the best WordPress plugin. So let's get started! To create a recruitment form, I have created a dummy WordPress website using InstaWP. It's one of the finest platforms to create disposable WordPress websites and to test your ideas and tools for free. Here, you can build a quick disposable WordPress website in no time. I have already installed the QSM plugin on my website. Let's start by creating an application form. Okay, so the first step is to hover over QSM and then let's click on quizzes or surveys. And then the next step is to, once you click on the create a quiz or survey, the first thing we see is to select a theme for the quiz. QSM has stunning themes, but for now, let's go with the default theme and then let's click on next. And the last step is, on the quiz setting, we get the option of the initial setup of our form, like uh, setting a name for the form, selecting what kind of form we are using. You could also set up if you want only logged in users to be able to fill in the form. Now comes the add-on section we get to see the most used or popular add-ons of QSM. You could also select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, and surveys. Right now, we are going to skip this part and let's click on Create a Quiz. So, the Questions tab is where we can enter our questions for the recruitment form. Let's enter the questions for our form. Okay, so, let's actually start with the first one. After entering the question on the right hand side, you can choose the type of question and answer from the drop down. I am taking the multiple choice type question here. And if you want, you can mark the question as required so this question can't be skipped. Then click on Save Question. Our first question is saved. Let's click on Create a New Question at the bottom of the Questions tab. Let's create a second question. For this question, we will be selecting the paragraph type question and then save the question. Let's go for another question by clicking on the create new question. Now in the third question, let's create this as a drop down type question so that our user can select one answer for the question. Let's go for the fourth question by clicking on create new question. Alright guys, so in the fourth question, let's create this as a multiple type question in a horizontal manner so that our user can select one answer out of two for the question. Let's go for the last question by clicking on create new question one last time. Now in the fifth question, let's create this as a file upload type question so that our user can upload their resume. Now all the questions are saved. Let's set up a contact field to collect the full name, email address, and date of birth of the applicants. To do so, let's click on Add New Field. Let's select the field type as Small Open Answer and label it as Full Name. Let's select the Use For section and select the name there. Again, add another contact field. And let's select the field type as email and label it as email address. Let's select the used for section and select email there. And for the last one, let's select the field type as a small open answer and label it as phone number. Let's select the used for section and select the phone there. And then let us click on the save contact field. All right, very nice. Now, since our question for the form is set, and the contact field is configured to collect the data, let's preview our application form by clicking on the preview icon at the top right corner of this page. And as you can see, we have created the recruitment form successfully. And that's all for this tutorial. Until next time, bye-bye and then stay safe.